Okay, so welcome back. As you can see, we're in the theme room now, and I've moved it out this way. Uh, Cloudwolf had the brilliant idea to use shulker boxes in his command tournament uh, as people's bodies, and I've been using wool for so long, and I mean, Ron used wool, so I've just continued using wool, but to display them on the wall, this actually looks much neater, and so um, with his permission, I have gone ahead and used shulker boxes to display stuff. Um, I guess I didn't really need his permission, but I mean, I was inspired by him, so you know. Anyway, uh, as you can see, we've got our, our three here. So, number one this week was yet again Cloud Wolf coming in with a solid 28 out of 30 points, uh, scoring perfectly in content, uh, playability, story, um, flow, text, um, and then scoring near perfect in mechanics and complexity. So, um, Obviously, Cloudwolf's map was the uh, haunted, I, it was like an orphanage or something, I, I'm sorry, I don't quite remember what it was, but there were uh, haunted, like, spiders that were chasing you, and they were actually just figments of your imagination, and you were dreaming that your hands could glow and stuff. Um, the map was very straightforward, it led you through very nicely, it had uh, the feeling that you were making decisions as to where you went, but it was always to the right spot, which is great level design. Um, I like the mechanic of keeping your fears away with light. Um, yeah, so that's why it scored first place. Coming in just two points behind that is Cubic Complex with his Little Inferno map. Uh, I really did like the Little Inferno map. In fact, uh, I threw Cubic Complex a bonus point for... Uh, doing that kind of a combo completion map. Um, however, he did come in just two points short. He lost out on story because obviously it was ripped from another game. I couldn't give him full credit in that. Uh, and then he lost a few points in uh, mechanics. Nobody scored perfectly in mechanics. He just lost one point there. Um, although it did have some cool combo mechanics. Uh, Perfect would be something I hadn't seen before. And in content, because it was literally just throwing things into a furnace, which literally is what uh, Little Inferno is, but there wasn't much else for the player to do. So, yeah. Moving on, we've got third place here. Pyrogale ZX uh, had the chisel type map uh, with the multiple paths. It had the, the lava maze as well as the lava parkour. There were some zombies. Um, I enjoyed the map. Uh, I did have a few things that I said in the overview, like Lava Parkour is not something that I always approve of, but overall, as a map, it was pretty good. It came in with a solid 24 points, so it went 28, 26, 24 this week. Uh, everyone scored in the 20s, though, so we didn't have any, like, way outliers. Uh, everyone was relatively close, so, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Glad that you guys, uh, have enjoyed seeing these scores. And I just started an outro without showing you the new theme. So we're going to go ahead and hit the button. There we go. Uh, the second one should be our map theme. So we have a parkour type map this week. Obviously one of the easiest to build. Uh, I'm hoping you guys don't just give me normal parkour. I'm hoping there's some kind of cool mechanic. And end is your theme word. So uh, some kind of end and parkour. That's pretty easy. You just add an end to your parkour. So see you guys next time. Hope to see something cool this week. Goodbye.